very quick to play the ball on, up towards the forward line. Corns in front, and takes the mark in advance of David Granger. High in the air it goes. Corns and Matt, and Corns with one hand! Oh, goodness gracious, Ian. The Makita mark of the day is under tremendous pressure now with that one from Graham Corns. Bay's going to attack once again up towards full forwards. Corns sets himself right back there. Corns, right back. Cross towards Wayne Phyllis, having a run on the ball, and he kicks long towards the forward line. Out they come, Graham Corns is there, grabs it on the second attempt, and the mark is paid. Porter taps it on, but Kim Hodgman's there to take advantage of it. Kicks towards Corns on his own. He'll run into the open goal. Here's an easy goal coming up to the base. Graham Corns into the open goal and dodges through their third goal. And Elk starting to get that ball into attack almost at will now as Caldwell drives it back in again. The kick up towards full forward. Corns! Straight towards Kim Hodgman. Over half ball to go, Corns again. They trailed by 26 at quarter time, they led by 10 at half time and 14 at three quarter time. Adrian Revick's kick starting to drop court. Graham Corns with the goal. 14 kicks to Graham Corns in the forward pocket and five goals. Corns to do the tap work. Does get the tap down beautifully to Hodgman, high in the air. Glenelga, big fella Ruckman, Carey. Back over seven. Taken there by Graham Corns, but umpire me giving a free kick to Stephen Coppy. Swings around and puts the play up into the true centre half forward area. Out comes Corns, and you've seen it. What a magnificent mark, without a doubt. Oh, or could I say the Makita mark of the day? It's just a good game by Graham Corns. I thought it was really good. I think the only way you'd stop Graham Corns on a, a ground like this and the, the style that we're playing is to blow him up with about 206 of Jellic Now that might be the trick. Are you full forward or permanent forward pocket or a bit of oh, both? Yeah, I don't know. I'm named as a forward pocket, but really, I, you know, I probably psych myself up to play full forward. And, I really quite expect to stand the full back of the other team, so, so I don't know, full back, full pocket, doesn't make any difference. Puts it out into the path of Corns. Pressured all the way by Cockley and gets around him. McInerney goes short looking for his counter rover. In Hodgman, but again it's Corns. Too slippery for Cock. Plays on, puts the ball up, and there is uh, Cockley. Johnston through. It's a high ball up over the centre. Oh, big leap by Corns. So. Corns receiving the handball. Graham can have a bounce as he runs through centre. Two, three. Met solidly, but gets the handball to Carey. Stephen Copping up over centre wing, looking for Farquhar. Corns leaps high. A quick look. Thinks the half forward line, the true half spot, is the safest. Hits Corns like a watermelon and bounces out again. McInerney from the half back line. Oh, the kick is off the side of his boot. Corns will be the leaper. Good mark. Nothing that Pope could do. Cooley stands there, onto the left boot, to the goal face, copping, oh, Corns over the top, couldn't pull it down, oh, when Stanley Matthews, what an incredible kick, off the boot, straight through the centre, his first. Graham Corns has been watching Tunisia, and that could be the Ken Max goal of the day by the Bay captain. We think it not so amazing. <laughs> we think it not so amazing. A kick back towards the wing once again, Corns, straight on with it. Lahu and Rendell. Oh, Matt, given a slight nudge, which put him straight under the ball of the ball. Ball further. Floriani, Corns, up the top he goes, lift one off the top of the pack. An awkward looking kick to the goal square, dropping back, Corns. Using pace is clear, looking to set up the pass now as Corns comes to meet it, takes it on his chest and there's nobody between him and goal. Corns on the lead, disposes of Sims. Crab once more, Sims comes in, taps out to Lloyd, Crab again, the hand pass to Corns, his snapshot of goal. It's a magnificent shot of goal, and what a return to South Australian football for a goal like that from Graham Corns. Yeah, they've got the ball clear. Crab gives the lead short, but he's going long in towards Corns, all on his lonesome, back in the pocket, takes the mark. 14th kick carries long. Corns gets the set. Long towards Corns, fine mark. Western, a direct run through centre half forward. Uses Corns. He drives towards the goal square. It's unprotected, and it's marked. Howard kicks to centre-half forward. Corns up high, magnificent mark by Corns. And the 
deep into the left forward pocket. Corns is there for Glenelg. His kick goes to the forward pocket. Corns up again. Oh, what a great mark. The back of the pack as a party. Oh, that's a shocking kick. Finds Hodgman. Corns is running. Heads towards the open goal. Sets up the handball for Copping. He's 15 metres out. Pops it through. Corns is out there. And this fellow literally pulling Torrens apart. Brews of beauty. Corns, Carey, Davies. Corns over the top. No backup coming. Chips away short looking for Corns. Finds him at centre wing. Trying to get around Sanders. Kicks long. Wall of players up there. Corn roll. Takes too much left goal post. Into the square. The... out of trouble, gives out the handball to Kearns. He's got a chance to wind through the pack. Wide is Carey. The handball goes out to the big fellow. He's well clear. In the pocket is, is White, and he takes the fine mark low to the ground. One point margin to Glenelg. Kearns, magnificent mark. Made the mark, but it's three-quarter time here at the Glenelg Oval in a great clash. Walk, looking for Davies. He's going to be under the ball. Corns over the top. Hodgman, heavily met by Howard. Hodgman down. The handball from Hardiman goes straight to Corns. Hooked in towards goal. What a tremendous goal from Graham Corns. Hargraves. Reed or Davies and Corns. The two champions in the air. Davies played the mark. All the umpires courage to give it to Davies in front of the base stand. Back towards half back flank. Dolan. Corns. Another fine mark. Airy over the top of Dolan. Carey comes out with it, does it well. Hodgman set it up now for McInerney. In turn, the run comes from Corns. The Bays go across their half four line long, setting himself to White. For Corns, who's got the leap from behind, another fine mark to Graham Corns. Kick. Phillips up, but in front it's Corns, firing high, looking for Abernethy. Versus David Bradley, who goes to ground. Belden the pace, but Corns, much better reader of the ball. Fighting hard for it, no support, feeds it to Hodgman and the ball, no, kept back in play, Corns in under Abernethy, Abernethy trying to get out with the ball, play on the call, a throw in by the interchange gate centre. But it's Cunningham kicking long towards the goal square, good mark Corns, came in against the tide, Corns and Holst up, Corns mark. Sorrell, Dolan, Corns! Another fine mark to the Bay Flyer. Quickly plays on, returns it towards full forward. Phillips getting back in the action, White right off the pack, hooks with the left foot, grubbers it through. But the action goes on and Corns takes the falling mark. An important kick for the Magpies, and it's not a good one. Going across the face, Coleman in front, Corns again! Would have to be best man on the ground. What a magnificent performance. 17th mark. Winner to the outer side, Corns! Oh, what a magnificent mark! Pulls away the first 10 metres, fires one of the half forward line, looking for Corn. Got up very early, but in doing so, gave away the free kick. That'll be taken by Trevor Bell on the half back flank, plus 15 metres. Oh! In they go! Comes out to Western, in turn McDermott, smothered well off the boot, Corns. Marshall wants it, Corns hooks, high going straight, goal! Beautifully done, Graham Corns. And do you think he's very excited about the whole event? He's fired up and ready to go. So is Neil Button, I can tell you that. In goes Super Carey. Ineffective. Turbo. Corns flattens him. Back to McFarlane. Back to the centre of the ground. Button puts one hand up. Throws out the elbow. Through comes Corns. It's on. Button's Polax Corns. Well, it's on again here. This is out of control. Well, the crowd are getting plenty of action and it's not getting any better, Peter. They're going at hammer and tongs. At the back of the pack now, Painter gets it through to Corns. Snaps. Goal. Well done to Bays. Painter's goal. Corns kicked it. But I think it was Painter who got it to him. Corns' first goal getting very gingerly to his feet. But the Bays have got number six on the board. Carey goes short looking for Corns. Oh, he could put his hands up in the market. He does. Looking for Corns. Up high, Corns. Magnificent mark. Ducks round, kicks a long one into Ford's full forward, looking for Corns again, I think he's found him, centimetres from the line. Strong kick to centre half forward, Corns up high, good mark by Corns. 
She's got a long ball into full forward. Robbie Walter can't mark. Could be ton of attention. Corns as cool as you like. McGuinness, goal. Read it well, then threw it almost to Granger. Granger broke McFarlane's tackle. Then put up the elbow and collected Maynard. And Maynard will take a free kick. Greg Phillips to half forward. Corns in position. Granger. Just... Desvoster didn't see it. Granger just with a beautiful round arm left. This is a heat out of play. Corns can't believe that Des Foster didn't see it. I think a lot of people will try to talk him out of it. Kicks long towards the half-forward line. Corns, a fine mark in defence. 